Welcome back to this week's Bailey Built. We're back at it doing another tool test, and this time it's the Craftsman 16 gauge nail gun. This is for finished nails and a little stronger bond with your wood. So let's take a look at it and see what's in the box. Well, it started off by cutting the seal to unpack the package and see what was inside. Now, you can find Craftsman brand nailers at several box stores in town. I'll add the link to our friends over at Westlake Ace in the description below. Now, this 16-gauge nailer is part of Craftsman's V20 series. It all runs on that 20-volt max battery system that works across saws and drills, along with the 16-gauge nailer, which can fire up to 375 2-inch nails per battery charge. Uh, keep in mind the box does come with a single battery in it. It also has a three year warranty. So if you have any issues, of course, you can just take it back uh, and you'll want to make sure you register there within the first 90 days of having the tool. All right, so we've got it out of the box. You can see all the stuff that's come with it. Of course, the battery, this is a two amp battery. They do have a two and a four amp. A nice little battery indicator right on the front of it as well. And that's pretty cool coming out of the box there as well. It has a belt clip where you can actually wear it. You're scaling ladders or moving around. That makes it quite handy and just screw that in. Also, looks like we have a box of nails in it. It's a 100 count, two and a half inch nails and also two inch nails. Keep in mind the finished nails are for a little stronger bond, so they tend to be a little bit longer than what you'll find in the 18 gauge brad nailer, which I also did a review of, and you can find the review for that in the link below. Now it gives you the battery charger uh, that comes with it. This is pretty good. It's not the quick charger that comes with some of the bigger tool sets, but this one definitely uh, more than sufficient to be able to get that battery charged up for you. Now, onto the gun itself. So the 16 gauge gun is a little heavier than what I found the 18 gauge gun to be, but all in all, the weight's not too bad on it. This has got the straight uh, edge on it, so it's not like an angled nailer, uh, but this one will definitely do the job. Feels pretty good. The grip is really nice in your hand as you hold it, and it definitely is, of course, a little top heavy. Now, we haven't put the battery on yet, but right now you can see, of course, your battery just slides in the back and locks into place. Before we do that, though, I want to talk to you about a couple of things here on the nail gun. One of the cool things that I found about the Craftsman Nailer is that it has a safety switch right on the handle. So when you uh, actually get it out of the box, the switch, as we zoom in here, is on the top side in lock position. Once you slide it down to the bottom part of that switch, that, of course, uh, disengages the safety and allows you to fire. Right now, you're not able to pull the trigger because the gray safety switch is in the top position, which is very cool. Now, another cool feature on this is the depth gauge. You can see here, you're able to change the depth here on your nails. So if you need them to be fully submerged, of course, they're almost like countersink within what you're nailing, you have that option. And then also you can bring that back as well. So that's adjustable for you. When it comes to the nails themselves, this gun loads a little bit different than the 18 gauger. Um, I have a bed of nails here. So let's take a look at that. You wanna keep in mind, the heads of your nails will want to be closest to you as you feed them in. There's an open slot right here in the bottom of the gun and you'll take this and you'll just feed the slot of nails into the feeder and what you'll have to do is just slide it up all the way to the top. There is a gray button here that's a safety release for the nail heads and then you'll pull the lever back and this is how you'll lock them into place. You pull that in, pull that down and it locks your nails in place and now you're ready to go. At that point in time, it's okay to put the battery uh, on there just to make sure that you're being safe. So we'll load that into the back. We've had a chance to charge up the battery there and it's at full charge right now. Okay, so when it comes to safety, not only do we have the safety switch here, also on the top of the gun, there's a jam release lever here and then also if your gun does get jammed, take a look at the top, Here's a, there's a release to open up and be able to take any jams out there. And that just simply latches back in place. So we'll put that down there. And that latches back over. So you got a chance to release any of your nails and get jammed into the gun. All right, we've got it all put together. Of course, it comes with a belt loop as well that feeds in or locks in right above the battery. And we'll add that later. Now let's see how it works. Yeah. 
Now we'll get a chance to change the depth adjustment here and lighten it up a little bit. That took it a fairly deep in, of course. Now we'll get a chance to change the depth adjustment here and lighten that up a little bit. That took it a fairly deep in, of course. It feels pretty good actually. It's a lightweight as you move along, of course. It's not like a rapid fire mode on, but I have to say that of course it does move along pretty quickly and that's definitely a good thing. Also another really cool feature about this is the LED lights right up top that definitely helps. I can imagine if you're doing a work inside of a darker area, darker corner, or maybe even a closet, that would definitely come in handy. And also the no mark tip on the top definitely comes in handy when you're going to be going around doing crown molding or also base molding uh, so that you don't mark it up. They also, on the bottom here, give you a spare no mark tip as well. So if that one kind of wears down on you, then you can pull that off and add the next one on. It's always just a nice feature to have there as well. All right, well, we got a chance to test out the 16 gauge nail gun. It worked pretty good and of course pretty fluently. As you can see here, I have a four by four with a quarter inch, uh, three quarter inch piece of wood on top of that plywood. It fired right into it and that grip is very strong. Also with adding another thin layer over the top of that equally as strong there as well. I think this gun will work out great for DIY or doing projects around the house and also maybe some light construction as well. Uh, the battery held up pretty well. And all in all, I think carrying this around through the course of the day for a project would be just fine. I don't think it would be too heavy at all. Also, one of the added benefits of battery operated tools, you don't have to worry about oil in these at all. So that's definitely very cool as well. Um, I will say this, if you're going to be doing projects around the house, keep one battery charged up so that you can just swap them off and keep going. That's my one tip as you move forward there. Of course, if you love this tool review and other great DIY builds we're doing around the house here, all you have to do is click that like button and smash subscribe to stay up to date on the latest here with Bailey Bill. For now, take care.